Hey everyone and welcome to the final video of the ice shot slash tornado shot vid eye that I've been playing in Solo Salfa on Sentinel League. I based this build off the crystallized omniscience that I dropped from the Searing Exarch. Um, I'll just go you th through my gear quickly and then I'll show you some of the in-game fights that I did with this character and how it performed. I'm low-key hoping for the harvest now, so I can try and craft my wand, my shaper wand. But I'll have to read um, all my essences, maybe there's a nice essence thing that you can use. I'm just kind of attached to this headset. I'm gonna skip Tujan. I'm so ready. So ready to fight this. <laughs> this, uh, what do you call it? All the conquerors and all the guardians at once. Ow, that was mean, but all the guardians I think I'll be able to do. So the first very important piece of gear here is my weapon that I used for eye shot. Um, it basically has a lot of tier 1 rolls on it. It's a lot of fizz that I didn't convert to cold. Also has a nice flat cold roll on it, accuracy which I desperately need on this build, um, that dexterity ideally would have liked to be an attack speed roll, and then a crit strike chance. So, pretty great bow, honestly one of the best ones that I've ever had, and this is solo cell phone, so I'm super happy about it. I made it with recombinators. Um, my quiver, not as good, um, just something I wanted to note here is, the projectile speed mod, the reason why I value that is because on the skill tree, let's quickly skip there, uh, there is this uh, bow mastery you can take that makes it so that reductions and increases to projectile speed also applies to damage of bows. All that I looked for on my quiver is preferably some crit and crit multi. Um, then projectile speed is a very good one because it can go to one of the highest rolls. And then um, some stats uh, strength dex int some of those and then life uh, so my build is pretty tanky honestly one of the tankier builds i've played surprisingly i have almost 5k life with grace and um, determination i also have my spell suppression capped and um yeah pretty decent i got some chaos rays as well so it's pretty good in that regard uh, my evasion is a little bit low at the moment because my chest piece has terrible evasion on it but the physical damage reduction and stuff is pretty decent on this build um so let's quickly jump to the rest of the gear my chest piece main thing here stats um some life spell suppression and then gain maximum life is extra energy shield to me is very important the reason for that is again because on my skill tree i'm using ghost ons um, I'm not going to explain Ghost Towns too much, but basically it just gives you another form of recovering from multiple hits in a row. And then, uh, yeah, just look for some nice Elric currencies to roll on this. Door gloves, again, spell suppression, life, and attributes. Ideally, you want accuracy on your glove as well, so you don't have such an issue to cap accuracy as I have with this build. Um, for my boots, I have cannot be chilled, movement speed boots are unveiled from a syndicate encounter. Uh, spell suppression, very, very important here. And then as much uh, tributes as you can get again. Um, for the Elrich rolls on the boots, uh, physical is extra cold, works well for eye shot. And then movement speed is obviously useful. And then I skip the gloves implicit. Spell suppression is what I needed to cap out my spell suppression. And then attack speed is just damage. Um, I'll get to the SNF chant uh, later, let me just go through the rings. So for the rings you just want as much attributes as you can and life and then 
you need to get non-channeling minus mana cost. You can get away with not using this on your rings, but then your eye shot will have a super high mana cost. You will not have the ability to level up precision high enough to really help you out with your accuracy issues that you have with this build. By the way, the reason we have accuracy issues with this build is because of the Omniscience amulet. We have a lot of um, attributes that we stack, so dexterity is, is pretty regular on our gear. Um, so we actually convert all of that to Omniscience. So we are left with 32 dexterity to get accuracy from. So it's pretty low, and that's why we need so much flat accuracy for this build. Yeah, so try and always get your main hand hit chance 100%, especially for this build that is a crit-based build. So if you um, crit, you roll your accuracy to hit first, if your projectile hits, and then you roll against your accuracy again to see if the crit hits. So for builds that are crit base, make sure you have 100% accuracy. And then uh, just my belt here, preferably you want more increased dexterity, you can get better belts with better implicits in this. I just couldn't get one in Solar Southbound. And then just put some um, cat, um, essences on them for strength and then see if you can get a decent one. Um, for my flasks, I'm using, using Aziri's Promise, but Taste of Hate should be better. Um, and then I'm using Step Knight for a little bit more defenses and Diamond to try and cap out my Crit Chance, Wounds Feed Flask, and then just a Life Flask. Um, so for the SNF Chant, the reason that I use this on this build and I value this really highly, um, using the Black Sun Crest is something you can do as well. Um, but I don't really see the point in swapping over to Black Sun Crest or just those attributes if I lose the amount of quality and life and effectively damage because of 100% uptime and everything that I get from the SNF chant. So let's go with what I trigger uh, using this. I trigger Sniper's Mark, which is very strong for this build, especially since our Ascendancy uses Focal Point, which increases the effect of marks. So that's very, very helpful. Um, and then... I am also using Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere just gives us a little bit more exposure um, and it also does quite a bit of damage and the uh, benefit of using Hydrosphere I found is that I can use Power Charge on crit and Onslaught support with it and then I gain Onslaught and Power Charge just even on boss fights. So that's very handy little setup here and then if you were to swap over to using um, the Black Sun Crest you would lose the ability to get power charge and onslaught on boss fights and obviously the little bit of um, exposure that you could just manually apply hydrosphere and then cypress mark manually but then that's all time you don't attack basically so i think as an is the best for this build but there's an argument to be made for black sun crest for sure all right so on my skill tree, I won't talk about it too much. I'll just link my path of building in the description and then just point out some highlights. Um, I take uh, point blank here for a little bit more boss damage. My clear is good enough as it is, so I didn't have any issues taking point blank. I'm using an intuitive leap here. This is just to save on some skill points so I don't have to take these nodes here, these nodes here, and that frenzy node before I get this frenzy. And then the reason why I use this Frenzy is because I have this Mark Mastery which makes me gain Frenzy charges on basically boss fights when I hit the marked enemy. I always have that up. I also chose to use Wind Dancer. I think Wind Dancer and Ghost Dance synergize amazingly because you get hit once, then your Ghost, I mean your Wind Dancer basically makes that do very little to no damage. And then you get a lot of evasion and then you have ghost dance to cover you through the subsequent hits and then by that time wind dancer probably should have reset already so it the combination of these two is super good for survivability and then a lot of people use cluster jewels for their leech the reason i like this is because the amount of leech you get is, is a little bit higher and then this little travel node is shockingly strong in my opinion especially if you're mapping and shooting so many projectiles that fork and all that and it just helps you sustain a lot better on the ascendancy i see a lot of people take far shot 
it's a little bit more damage um, but I like Ricochet um, and then with Ricochet and Endless Munitions I'm actually not using right, the multiple projectiles in my skill gem setup because I've, I'll show you some video of me clearing uh, I don't actually need the extra um, projectiles to clear sufficiently and then that's more damage in effect as well in my main link um, so I'm using Ice Shot Ice Bite because I have frenzies always up increase crits and crit damage and then elemental damage of attacks and inspiration so <clears throat> the complete um, end game of this build in, in summation would probably use tornado shot and trinity support instead of eye shot I just got this amazing bow and I felt like I just have to go full eye shot and invest in it but if you do that you would probably drop crit chance and um, you drop crit chance and I'd probably put trinity support in here I'm also using eye shot ballista totem and some damage supports focus ballista that makes it so that when I summon the ballistas wherever I shoot they shoot as well and this is a great help with single target it's underrated how strong that is so I prefer this over using something like barrage so for the rest of this I'll just put in um, some of the boss fights I did of this character also put in some footage of mapping just so you can get an idea for the build but thanks so much for watching this was a lot of fun definitely recommend this build if you want to try it and um, leave a like if this video helped you subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you in the next one okay, I got three stacks of his speed gem debuff Okay, give it to me. Nope. Where are you, Cyrus? Show your face to me. Nice, that was a clean fight. Take this. Ugh, I dodged into that. Okay. Do this one, let's just get it. Uh, I forgot the pattern again, sir. I did it. Just did it in time there. Wow. Yay! We did it. We killed her.